Hey guys, so let's go over some more formulas for polygons that you're going to need to know for the SAT and the ACT. You're going to need to know how to figure out the perimeter of shapes as well as the area. The perimeter is just the sum of the sides of a polygon, so if we had a triangle, it would just be x, y, and z. Add those three sides up. The area refers to the space inside of the polygon, so the shaded region here. To figure out the area, you're going to need to know the formulas for specific shapes. So for squares and rectangles, the area is just the length times the width. For squares, it would just be the same number on all sides, so it would just be one side times itself. And for rectangles, it would be length times width. For triangles, the area is one half times the base times the height. So if we had a right triangle here, the base would be here, and the height would be here. If you had a different shaped triangle, let's say an equilateral, the height would be from the vertex here down to the midpoint here, and the base would just be one of the sides. And this would form a right triangle there. For parallelograms, the area is just base times height. So if we had a parallelogram here, one side here would be the base, the height would be from this point here down to the base, forming a right angle. For trapezoids, the area is the height times base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. Written out, it would look like this. And these terms refer to the base here on the bottom, the base on top, and then the height would just be this drop down from the vertex here down to one of the bases forming a right angle. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video on the perimeter and area of polygons. Like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below and give the video a like if you found it helpful.